All right, boys and girls, here's the dealio. I have been a Gmail user since 2007 approximately, and I will gladly not go back. I love what Jason Fried and team at Basecamp have created with Hey.com. I'm not going to give you the big uh, inside scoop from my perspective. I will show you my usage in a second. But for now, everything you need is on Hey.com. I will gladly pay 99 bucks a year for this. And it is a time saver. It is a productivity leverage point for me. Everything you need is here. Uh, and they have definitely recreated email. And I'll show you how. But what I would do, though, when you go to Hey.com, you can certainly click on the big button, see how it works. Scroll down here and get a good overview of how it differs from the traditional email inbox. Um, start with the big button there, how it works, tour the features, try it for free, $99. That's pretty much the scoop. But let me log in here. I'm gonna sign into my account and show you what I like most about it. Be right back. All right, so the most important thing that I want to share with you is that I do not get clutter on the left-hand side like you normally would do with a typical online email program. Let's just continue to pick on Gmail. Um, the inbox, what they label as M, it's, in, it's intentionally M, not N, as for important box is what it stands for. They cover that in at the hey.com website. And there, there's a reason for it because pretty much the, the, the philosophy behind this is that what's important to you is going to be filtered by you. You notice up here, screen 114 first time senders. Now I can click up here and you know I can scroll down here and determine just based off a quick brief look who I want to screen in. Let's just say that I wanted to screen in uh, Laura here from Readsy. I can click the down arrow there and decide there's three main areas within hey the inbox which you just saw the feed and the paper trail so I want to add Laura which is a part of the readsy.com company into the feed and we'll get back to the feed in a second so she's been put in the feed and what I also noticed is on my inbox here, there are about four emails from one vendor right now. So what I could instantly do is click on these, bam, 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 from w, uh, WP Forms, which is a, uh, I call it a web mastery provider, uh, which helps with forms on your website. I can instantly come up here and um, I can merge these. So when I want to merge them, merge, and merge permanently boom merging thread so now what i can also do i want to make sure that wp forms i don't really want that in my inbox but i do want that in my paper trail and i want to auto file that into some labels i created called business uh, web mastery now i come back over here to inbox and they are gone. Anytime WP Form sends me another email, they are going to be seen in the feed. All right, another thing I like here is, is that when I have an action item, you can see I'm gonna hover over, actually I'm gonna click on this. This is what's called reply later. And I can decide if I wanna to reply to each of these individually. I actually use this reply later as an action item area as well. I might want to take some links out of some of these um, these emails and curate them or move them to another area of my daily uh, productivity apps, which might be Basecamp and actually where I construct my newsletter bears bulletins. But you can see if I click on go to focus and reply, it'll come up and allow me to reply in a focused manner to each of these. Now, a lot of these I will not reply to, but I do want to grab something out of. But if you wanted to reply, you would come up here and you would just start typing your reply in as, oops, you can see right up here. Bam, 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 I'm just typing. And it's automatically gonna put my, my signature file in there 
Uh, I don't need to reply to that though. Some of these I will, like Benjamin here, I might reply to. Going back over here to the inbox, I can also click on this and then I can bring it up individually. Like in this case for the Ian Broom email, I've got to take some links out of here and move them somewhere else. And then when I'm done with that, I unclick reply later and that email is removed from my reply later uh, uh, area. So going back to the inbox here, you can see everything's in the inbox. These are things I still have to read or take action on. Anything below that I have blocked out with this nice little feature they have. I just chose the yellow one. I can also remove the cover and then you can see, I can see everything previously seen. But I don't really like seeing things I've previously seen. So I come up here and then I'll just block it out again. This time I'll choose this one for just to show you that there's a variance there that you can choose. Over here on the right hand side, this is what's called set aside. Now set aside board would be for stuff that you might want to read later. So you come up here, let's just show you an example here. So I come up here, I know I want to read this here, 21 ways to cash flow no one talks about from Cody. I can just click on that and click set aside, bam. I know it's down here now, it's gotten out of my inbox. I just didn't want to read it right then. So I come over here, I can also view the set aside board or I can click these individually. So if I view the, um, the set aside board, let me show you what it looks like. And I can just scroll through here to decide, you know, which ones of these do I want to read right now and take action on by reading. Everything you've marked as set aside as you can see. Coming up here, let me just show you what these look like up here. So if I click on the feed, you're gonna see your feed for newsletters. Typically this is the stuff that it's not priority, it's stuff that you can get around to when you need to. Uh, and it, that's what it is. So I, I put a lot of newsletters here, a lot of content stuff that, you know, if I don't, if I don't read it that day, no sweat, no harm, no foul, but I know it's there. And I can scroll through the feed like this to determine, hey, what's catching my eye right now? Now, certainly you can do this in Gmail in a different way, but it's just not as functional in my opinion. Um, what else do I want to show you here that is really slick as peanut butter and jelly? That would be what I often use a lot, which is R, which are these clips. Now I'll get to the hay world in a second, but essentially you can create your own blog, online publishing real estate area just by creating emails. But the clips, I love the clips. These are the things that I, that have, that have caught my eye when I'm reading somebody's newsletter, somebody's opinion piece that I might want to reference and quote. It's often what I use these for. And basically the way you do that, you just come over here and I'll just use, uh, I don't know, just this one here right now. Let's just say there's something in here that caught my eye, I wanted to highlight it. You can see instantly it comes up, save clip. Save clip, come over here to the drop down, clips, and there it is. Now I don't really want to save that, but I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Bam, we're back to where we were under the clips. And the hey world here, this is a whole new functional area to write to the world as it says here. Uh, it's a simple blog and email newsletter, just write to world at hey.com. So basically you create an email, you send it to world at hey.com, it knows that you're sending from your hey.com email. Mine happens to be bearman at hey.com. And it will create an online blog uh, architectural area for you to send people to. It's really cool. There's so much you can do with this. But bottom line is this hey.com program, this, this email client cloud-based app, has saved me a buttload of time. And most importantly, I actually like and enjoy going into my email inbox. There's so much more to say on this. Don't take my tour of this because it's kind of a little haphazard. It's not structured, it's on the fly. But I just wanted to show you why I use it. I have no incentive to be showing you this or telling you this. I'm not getting paid by Basecamp to do this. I just think it's cool. And I think that you will find it useful as well. All right, over and out.